All right, today we're going to talk about uh, proper helmet fitting. We're going to talk about two of the, two of the larger manufacturers, Rydell and Shut Helmets. Um, my name is Jim Williams. I'm a certified athletic trainer and certified strength conditioning coach with Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine. I've also worked as an equipment manager for 10 plus years on the collegiate level. So, a little bit about helmets. Um, the reason we're talking about proper uh, helmet fitting is to try to l eliminate the severity of a concussion. And studies have shown that improper fitted helmets can actually make a concussion a lot worse. No helmet out there will eliminate a concussion from happening, but the idea is to eliminate the severity of the symptoms of the concussion. So a couple of things that we want to look for on a helmet immediately. We want to make sure that it has been recertified. All helmets have to be recertified a minimum of every other year, if not every year, depending on usage. So we're looking for that recertification sticker on the inside of the helmet. We're also looking for the warning label on the back. Those have to be on the helmet. The warning label talks about the prevalence of injuries, and yes, they can still happen. Other things that we're going to look at a helmet for are make sure that everything is tight. Everything is in place, the snaps, the clips are tight, and all are in working order. There's no cracks anywhere in the helmet, so no defects in the helmet. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to measure the head. A lot of your manufacturers will provide you with a tape measure for proper measurement of the head. We're going to go one inch above the eyebrows, around the back of the head, pull the tape over, and it tells me here that Mr. Sloan is middle of a size large. The next thing I want to do is simulate being out on the field with the helmet. So I want to wet the hair down, spray the hair down. A lot of sweating goes out on the field, and when the hair is wet, it'll fit a little bit tighter to the head versus loose hair. First helmet we're going to put on here is this the, the Rydell, the 360. Go ahead and slide that on, Mr. Sloan. I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to go ahead and have you buckle that up for me. Chin strap. You want to make sure that the chin strap is sitting directly on the center of the jaw, and it's tight to the sides, and also that the chin strap the straps go underneath the face mask when put on the sides. A lot of people make the mistake and go over the top of the face mask. That, that'll make for a looser fit of the helmet. So once that's done, I'm looking for that one inch above the eyebrow, which we can see right here. I also want to check and I want to make sure that the ear holes line up with the ear and that the base of the skull is covered. Okay? Once everything is strapped down, everything is tight, um, if I need a little more room above the eyes, what I can do is take the pump um, with the provided glycerin for the pump and insert, have them uh, take a knee, and I can insert, or if there's too much, I can remove air by putting uh, the needle, the valve into the uh, top of the helmet, and I can either add, which usually takes one to three pumps, or remove air, and also on the sides as well, which is the, uh, the valve right behind that, to make it for a snug, not tight, tight fit, but a snug fit on the athlete. Go ahead and stand up for me, please. Once I've talked to the athlete and they said everything seems to fit properly, what I'm going to do then is have the athlete bow up, and I'm going to try to twist the helmet right and left and up and down. And what I'm looking for is any kind of movement, loose movement in the helmet. So what I'm kind of looking for is the skin to actually move with the helmet, which it does. So this is a properly fitted helmet. Okay. Um, if I see any movement in there, I might need to add more air to the sides. I might need to add air into the jaw pads, which the Rydell has air inflated jaw pads. Okay, take that off for me. Now with the shut, vengeance, similar system. The only difference is that the jaw pads are removable. They're not air inflated jaw pads. You have anything from 7 8 inch pads um, all the way up to 1 and 3 8 inch pads, and you have to replace those accordingly. Other than that, the same concept, one inch above the eyebrow, ear holes lining up, you add air to the top to raise and to the, the back to, to increase air pressure in the sides. Okay, chin strap centered on the jaw. Okay, good. Okay, same thing, we're looking for the one inch above the brow. I want to make sure that the ear holes line up, the base of the skull is covered. Um, air, you know, that air is inflated properly in the sides and the top of the helmet. Going to have them bow up again, same concept turning right, turning left, up and down um, without any issues so the helmet does not move. You want to go ahead and make sure that you check the helmet 
anywhere from one to three days after you initially fit the athlete to check again because many times when they initially try the helmet on it seems like it fits but after wearing it for a practice it might be a little too tight in the jaw or a little too tight in the sides um, so encourage your athletes to come talk to you if the, if the uh, helmet does not fit properly. You also want to check your helmets regularly, at least on once a week basis. Checking for missing parts, loose snaps, clips, um, cracks anywhere. Um, if there's any metal showing on the face mask, they need to be replaced. Other times you want to check your helmets um, as the temperature gets cooler, especially in your northern climates. The air is a little bit thinner, so the helmet may seem like it fits a lot looser. Or any time that the athlete alters their hairstyle, whether it's shaving the head or mohawks, anything of that nature, which many times happens when athletes, uh, when they get to the playoffs and so forth, they want to create this team camaraderie thing, so they all kind of have the tendency to go out and get these wonderful haircuts. So you always want to check the helmets whenever there's changes made.